Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way, and I'm glad you're here. So today I want to talk about jewelry, something I've never talked about on here before. Um, I have very, very few pieces of jewelry, and um, they just uh, have a story that I thought may be interesting to you. So I used to have a ton of jewelry. Like I had all the, all different earrings, tons of different necklaces, the big long ones, all things that match different outfits. And I'm not saying anything against that. If that's what you have. If you have a big collection of beautiful costume jewelry, um, so did I. And I loved it until I didn't anymore. Uh, I found it to just be kind of a nuisance to manage it and, uh, organize it and pick things that match different outfits and some things were more comfortable than others but then oh I would wear it anyway because it matched this and stuff so I just decided to streamline right down to 100% comfort and um, uh, very 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 little so what I did was um, I had a few rings a few diamond rings sitting in my jewelry box. I'll tell you why they were sitting there. I had my mother's ring. She passed away when I was 35. She had a great big, beautiful, it was like a anniversary ring, a uh, beautiful ring. So I got that ring when she passed. And I wore it because it was so big and beautiful. It's like uh, over three and a half carats, huge. And I would wear it from time to time. Um, it was just, it was just gorgeous. Um, but it just never felt comfortable. It just felt like, uh, heavy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not a ring person. I don't know if you've noticed I wear no rings and I wear no bracelets. Bracelets bug me. They bug me. They look beautiful. And I had bracelets before I get rid of them all. So, um, I just, I don't enjoy wearing rings. They just bother me. I like my wrists and my hands to be naked. <laughs> um, so I would wear that ring just because it was so beautiful and it was so big and gorgeous and valuable and, you know, uh, and then I would not wear it. So it would sit in my jewelry box for another five years. And then I would say, oh, I should really wear that again. And so I did this on and off for like 20 years. <laughs> then I decided, I thought like I would love to make like a pendant out of it. And then I thought, oh, it just felt really disrespectful. Like I thought like, oh my God, my mother would roll over in her grave if, if I ever <laughs> tore her ring apart, you know? And then one day that just made no sense to me anymore. And I just thought, I'm going to go have a necklace made out of this. And this is going to be the necklace that I wear all the time. And that's what is on my neck right now. So, uh, I brought it to a very skilled jeweler that's local here and he was able to just take the setting right off the ring. He wasn't sure if, if it was going to lay right in the ring setting, if he, perhaps he was going to have to take all the diamonds out and reset them into a new, uh, pendant setting, but it worked out really good that he was able to just take the setting off the ring, put it on a pendant. Now the, the ring had the center diamond. Um, uh, and then it had, it has diamonds all around it. Then it had two like baguettes on the, on the sides. And he took those two baguettes and he, um, put them on the top. And that's how he made, uh, the way that it hangs on the chain. So I'll, I'll show you a close up right here of the rings turned into a pendant. Um, I ended up buying this um, uh, white gold chain. I wanted this certain length um, so that it would hang right here. I didn't want it to be low. I didn't want it to be too high and feel like it was choking me. So this was the perfect length for me. So I invested in the chain. Um, I invested in uh, the work to be done to convert this. 
it wasn't a huge investment. Maybe like the, the ring to pendant would maybe cost me like a couple of hundred. And I think the chain was probably about 350, but it's white gold. I put it on and I never take it off. I'm not putting jewelry on and off anymore. I wear it in the shower. I wear it in the beach. I wear it when I swim. I wear it to bed. I wear it 24 seven. Um, the only thing that I do from time to time is swap out the pendant because I had another two rings um, that has a story. Um, but I believe, I believe that my mother loves this pendant, that I've made this into something that works for me. I no longer think like that, like the way I thought before. So I, um, I had two other rings, two other diamond rings. I had solitaire diamond ring that I got as an engagement ring when I was 17 years old. And uh, I got married when I was 18 and I was divorced when I was 23. So uh, it was, I was making big girl decisions when I was still a little girl but I don't regret any of it because uh, I was in love. We were both in love. We were young and in love. And sometimes those marriages go on forever. And then sometimes they don't. And then mine didn't. Um, so uh, anyway, so I had that diamond ring that I've just, that's just been sitting in my jewelry box since I've been 23 years old. And then I had uh, another diamond ring, which was from my second husband who is the father of my two children uh and who is a very good friend of mine today we we maintain a very nice um uh, healthy friendship and uh we share two children together which is the biggest thing you can share with somebody uh but my uh wedding band for that had seven di seven little diamonds going across the wedding band so I had that. I didn't want another engagement ring. So I, I didn't get an engagement ring when he and I were engaged. Um, I, but the wedding band had the seven little diamonds going across. So I brought these two rings to the jeweler and I said, can you make me another pendant uh, with these two? And I figured I could swap them out. One was going to be huge and bold, this one. The other one was going to be more sp small and casual although still a, a very nice piece of jewelry. So he worked his magic and he found a setting where the, the solitaire ring was in the middle and the seven little diamonds went around it. And I'm going to show you that right now because I'm going to put it on this chain. And I just swap these out from time to time. Uh, sometimes I put the big one on and leave it on for weeks or months before I swap it out. And then sometimes, I don't know, I just, whatever I feel like doing, whatever I feel like doing, I do. So this one looks like this. And I'm going to show you a close up of this one. So you can see how it has the solitaire in the middle and then the seven diamonds all around the edge, uh, the, all around the, the, uh, surrounding it. And it's absolutely beautiful. And this is very, very, very special to me. I, I, uh, I, um, I don't regret either marriage. I don't wish I was still in either one. Um, everything is just perfect. Everything has been perfect. Everything played out perfectly. But this is special. It, it does, does represent the two times in my life that I was truly in love. And uh, so it's just special. And it doesn't make me sad. It doesn't make me happy. It just makes me feel grateful. That's all. So, um, you know, what I did was uh, I got rid of all my jewelry. I got rid of everything. Now, not everything. I'm going to show you the only things that I've kept, and I'm kind of ready for these to go. So 
another thing I decided to do. So I simplified the necklaces. I don't, I just got rid of all my necklaces and I have one necklace, two pendants, the end. I'm wearing this or I'm wearing, or I'm wearing the other one. I'm either wearing this or I'm wearing this one of the two. And I, and it's 24 seven. Love it. Um, so I wanted to do the same thing with earrings because I like having earrings on my ears, but I don't want to be picking out earrings every day. I don't want to take them on and off every day. I wanted earrings that I put on, they stay on. They don't bother me. I don't feel them. I don't feel them when I sleep. They don't come off when I dry my hair. They don't fly off. I wanted them to have really good closures. So I went back to the same jeweler and I was like, what do you got for me for earrings? I want two loops. I want uh, bigger hair, smaller hair. And so these are what I have. They're white gold and I have uh, the uh, little bit bigger ones on the bottom, little small ones at the top. They just give me a little bit of shine right there. Um, they're white gold. It was somewhere in the ballpark of like 300 and something for both pairs. So um, I bought them about three years ago. I put them on and they've never come off. <laughs> they've just never come off. So this is what I got. This is my jewelry. It just feels like just enough. I feel like uh, anything more just feels like too much stuff, especially with glasses. It just feels like too much for me. And um, I don't want uh, jewelry here. So this is just suits me just perfect. But one day I was like, you know, you know, it looks really good with short hair. This is when I went short because my hair has not always been short. Just a couple of years ago, my hair was down on my elbow. Long, 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 thick white hair. Um, uh, I thought when I got the short haircut, I said, you know, what looks great with short hair is big hoops. I said, maybe I'll get myself a pair of big hoops. So I went to Macy's and I got these hoops. They were probably about maybe $50. So they're not like, they're, they're costume jewelry, you know, they're probably sterling, maybe they're sterling silver, but I can fit them in the, in the same hole as these. I want to just tell you about them. Because I don't love them. I just feel like everything looks too busy, especially with the, with the glasses. And I don't know. It just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just so used to seeing such little, um, not loving the hoops. So I never wear the hoops. Never. Never. If I ever consider it, I always put them on and then I take them off. So that was a waste. And I also have um, these earrings. Um, they're like uh, little hangy diamonds, but they're not real diamonds. They're just like the cubic zirconia. So I thought if I ever wanted to get have like a fancy, fancy night, I could wear those with this. Now that, that is doable. They're not huge. It's not big. But guess what? Never wear them. <laughs> Again, these look like I said, they're cubic zirconia. Um, don't wear them. So I should probably just get rid of these. Uh, one other thing that I kept was uh, I had this boyfriend about 10 years ago that got me this watch. And it's just a beautiful watch, and I love the watch. I wore it every single day when I worked. When I worked, I needed to have a watch. I just needed to. Um, um, it's really, it's just really a beautiful watch. And um, I, uh, he also gave me like a tennis bracelet, but I don't like bracelets. And I, I gave it away. <laughs> I gave it away when we, when our relationship ended. <laughs> gave it to somebody. Um, but this I've kept in case I ever want the look of a watch, but it's never happened. So I suppose I could get rid of this too. Now that I don't work, I don't need a watch. Um, it was just very convenient to have, not just walk around with my phone all the time and have the time, but to have a watch. Cause when you're working, you got to be somewhere. You got to, you know, you're on your lunch hour, you got to be back. I just needed to have a watch when I worked. 
Um, I haven't I haven't put it on once since I retired. So I think these are the only these so these are the only three things I have: the little diamond rings, the hoops, and the and the watch. These are the only things I hang on to that I suppose I could get rid of. I am just very happy with, and I just feel this just all looks right. It just looks in proportion. It looks like not too little, not too much for me. And um, so, you know, I just, I'll hold this one dear to my heart. This was my mom's ring. She loved this ring. She loved this ring. I think my father bought this for her when, for her, for their 20th anniversary. I think it was like a 20th anniversary uh, uh, present. Um, and then this, uh, told you the story, this is the, the two times that I've been in love. So I feel like these mean just love. And the investment that I made in all this white gold is just so, I just, I want it on 24 seven. I don't want to turn my neck green. I don't want it to worry about it getting wet. And it just, it's just very, very, very comfortable. And today, I'm all about comfort. Comfort's number one. And uh, every so often, I'll, I'll walk by some really pretty costume jewelry, or I'll see some pretty jewelry on someone, and I'll just think, I'll think back to like when I used to have all that nice jewelry and stuff. And, um, but I don't want it. I don't want to, I don't want it. Uh, I thought I would share the story about these two special pendants and because uh, you likely see them on me all the time and they weren't just things I went out and bought just to be Diamond Lulu, you know, because I'm not Diamond Lulu. I just happen to have been gifted these diamonds and uh, and then I just work them to work for me at this present time. So bye for now.